and let's appreciate the great Baya himself. There you are! I knew we found one! Ladies and gents, this is your personal virus and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back to our Stranded Deep Let's Play here. Alrighty, we will need the guy. Desperately. Update 0 0.38 has finally dropped, which means we have the new UV system in the game now. Check it out. UV. Um, It says UV, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we have UV, and if I remember correctly, right now should be the highest UV thinginess that we can get because it is noon. But since I'm here, this is actually quite good. I have a bunch of clay. I believe I can make, yep, one clay bricks. Wait a second, I can make one clay. Oh, no, 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 we can make more. Ah, I thought it was four, but it appears to be, yep. It is two clay thingies per clay brick. So we have three. I would still assume for a foundation we need four. Yep, so we can't make a clay foundation just yet, which is one of the things I want to do today. Continue working on our mountain base, which means a lot of clay has to be gathered. But I also thought that since we have so, so much of this stuff, we will also use, <laughs> that's the word, a lot of corrugated scrap but what i also need to do is make a lot of cloth i have more leather awesome because since the new update dropped now you all know what that means right if i go to crafting we have story yep the gyrocopter is officially in the game and i mean it's not a question it's a certainty that we want that thing Okay, wait, let me quickly check what I need. Okay, let me get you out of my hand. I want this another refined pick for which I just need two more stone tools. Easy enough. One and two and a refined pickaxe, please see. A spare one should be decent. And what do I need for the spear gun? <gasps> Duct tape. Oh, alrighty. Alrighty, that is an issue. I thought I had everything to make this spear gun. I guess what I will do then is make two more of these. Hey, why can't I... Oh, I need leashing. Leashing, let me get it. Leashing. A true X and a... Can't make a refined X. Do I need leashing for a refined X too? No, I simply need one more stone tool. Easy enough. Okay. Now we have two refined X's and two refined picks with the other one I have in there. I will go to different... <gasps> I saw him. I will go to different islands now, collect everything there. Like literally every, everything. Because I want to remove these islands from the world and replace them, wrong box, with the mission islands. Oh, yes. I am not sure if we can take on the first guide today. <laughs> it was weird. The, the graphics, have they changed it? Or is it foggy? You know? The lighting seems kind of weird. Everything looks slightly different to me. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we can take on the first monster kind of dude. I would love to start with the giant eel, if possible. Oh yeah, I'm thirsty. Drink, drink. I love the sound. But I am not sure. I don't feel like we should take him on without the spear gun. We will see about that. No, I will let the Yuka here and make me a stone tool thingy. So I will do a lot of off-camera work now, because we have seen this so many, many times. And then we will see how many materials I was able to gather, and we'll do some building up there. Are the plants okay? They are mighty fine, so let's head out. Oh, who do we have here? Oh, hello, hello. Ah, how are you I doing? have to admit that I could live without you here. What? Yikes, I found a bunch of clay already. It's my clay. And I got... Hmm? What is Dude, it? did you just yeah. swim through the island? Yeah. That is not okay. And I got stung Why by a sea urchin okay? too. I what I want. But with this guy around... Yeah. Things might become a bit more... Cool. Interesting now. Dang it, there's clay over there. My clay. It's totally my clay. This isn't good. 
I really want this clay. It's my clay, though. I'm really scared of the shark too. I'll just keep moving, I guess. Maybe hey, he'll. What do you do with my clay? You're breaking it. I, it's not like I have an issue with you. We're we're all friends here, okay? I'm not so sure oh. about that. Haven't seen you before. What's in you? Maybe duct tape? No. I still want you a black tip reef shark on top of everything else. Yikes. So much going on here. There's another one over there. This one's deep. The shark's somewhere around here. I just heard him. Let's try though. Let's try. Please don't be a waste of my time and health. Okay, 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 got you. All right, now let's no, just get. <gasps> oh, out of here! Oh, oh yummy, 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 yummy! Oh, come on, come on, come on! I've never touched you even. Yummy, 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 I've yummy, never yummy, done anything yummy. wrong to you. <laughs> I might have attacked several of your buddies. Yeah, you did actually. I'm all friends with you. I thought. Hey, come on, be good, be good. There's land right there. Let's just hope this crate is worth it. Leather. Awesome, it was worth it then. You really need to check out for resources during the daytime, like when it's morning still. I thought I had swum across this island and searched everything thoroughly, but no. I find five more of these in total now, which is awesome. Hey, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, but there's another clay. clay. Dang it, man. Stop taking that. He's guarding it's it. A lot of work to and he's it eager like right this. now. What have I ever done to you? You're stealing Seriously. My clay. I'll go for this clay first. There's so much clay on this island, it's crazy. It's my clay. With the new update, the knight is actually your best friend because now that the flu is out of the game, at least for the time being, you can work so easily and you don't have to worry about the UV. By the way, I realize now that it says UV none or medium or high. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. But this island is done. The raft is full, I am full, we will head back. Um, house? House? <laughs> Would you load in? I mean... It looks kind of cool, but mostly weird. There we go, better. And that should heal the infection, awesome. Not a bad haul at all, we have three, four, five and a half stacks of clay bricks. That is actually really, really cool. And do I need food? No, then I guess I will just go do some building in the night time and we will see how far we can get with our clay in the morning. Sunrise! <laughs> okay, what do you think? How much did I manage to go... Sunrise! <laughs> okay, how... Wow. Sunrise! Okay, what do you guys think? How much was I able to do with the clay we gathered? Actually... A lot. We have the continuous floor. The no, I don't think that's the proper phrasing. The the we have all the floor in here now, and we have clay left still. One full foundation is only two clay bricks. I thought it would be four, but considering that two clay bricks is four clay, it is four in a way yet still. But what I don't get is why I cannot put a wedge thing right here. It it doesn't it doesn't recognize it. No matter what I try here, it doesn't flip into position. It works here. It works... Wait, what? This is so weird. Why would it... Why would it do that? Are these glitched out? This kind of works. Can I rotate it in any way? Oh. Very interesting. Yeah, but it doesn't recognize this as a spot. Which is a pity, because that would be so cool. We could have a window looking out that way. I am even tempted to remove one of these guys. Let me save the game. These are two valuable resources to try that without saving first. I need a better way to get up here. I keep having to struggle like this, because I do not have a way that leads up to this spot. Yeah, I really need to work on that. But now, since I saved the game, let's remove one of these guys in the corner here. It's quite a nice, hmm, maybe I do want a wedge. Wait a second, can I get a wedge to go in the spot like, oh no, I can't, I can't. These aren't really halves. Yeah, yeah, no, I guess we will live with this. But now for this guy, let's see here. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think this is how this is supposed to sound. This takes forever, my goodness. 
I guess this is the sturdiest material in the game for a reason. Come on, there you go. Now, will you allow me to place this guy there? No, you will not. You just don't like this spot one bit. So weird. Then we will remove both and try this. In case you're wondering how I do this, it works if I hold down C, aim at the spot where I want the foundation to build, that the game says, hey, there's something in the way, and then I hit a key on my keyboard that I set to click the mouse about 100 times per second. So there is one instant, like one tiny fraction of a second where it is placeable, and I do get the mouse click for that second, and then it works. Yeah, yeah. I will go with that, even though this was a waste of materials, could even have one here. And I do want it, I do want it. So this is how I make things like that happen. I honestly think they should leave it, you know, make it difficult to glitch things into walls like that, but still have it possible. Oh yeah, this is cool. If we have no wall here, we can just look out over our buildings like that. This is nice. What I will do now is get me... Oh yeah, I'll get all the corrugated scrap and we'll put down some walls and see how that looks. I kinda thought we had more. Hmm. Look at our plants, I only just realized. These guys are about done. They don't want water, but these look good, like they are almost ready to have a fruit, which would be awesome. We really need a better food source than what we have right now, which is literally only coconuts. So grow eagerly, my plants. We have a storm incoming, guys. And where better to witness it than from a high place where we put down a bunch of metal that should totally not attract lightning, right? Right. You guys want to see how it looks when it's raining blood? Ooh. Phew, the storm is finally fading and I'm turning all of the logs that we, where's the rough there, <laughs> that we have left into planks then I will work these into our building as well and then I'm really curious to see how much progress we were able to make with this today. Ah, uh, wait a second, this is a cura fruit, how did, it is, um, don't tell me that this is considered in there. Let, let me try to grab it. Can I make this happen? Okay, I can. Can I eat? Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's legit. Weird. Was that considered the fruit of one of these? Like, they could be totally glitched out because I built them kind of inside foundations. Not sure. Oh, but my hammer broke. I need another hammer. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, why? Why is that okay with you? I wanted to place the guy. Okay, can you, can you? Thank you, because I'm trying to make my way up here a bit more comfortable finally. What's the issue here? Why do you not want to rotate this guy? This is seriously annoying, come on. This would be perfect if you were to just rotate it. What if I take you this floor away? Well, then you don't want to build at all. This is so weird. And another beautiful sunrise. There's the little piggy. He kind of seems to really like this spot. I haven't seen him wandering far from it yet. But check it out. I removed a couple of foundations and everything from our ladder construction here. And I think it looks a lot better. Not so bulky anymore. I mean, we do have this floaty ladder, yeah, but other than that, I think it looks cool and it even looks like this could work because this is all connected and kinda into the mountain and this is all connected and kinda looks a bit like a tower, so it's not like it's floating, you know? It all has some sort of support, even though I would love for these to actually go into the ground, but you can't have everything. Can I just run this? Okay, I totally can. Alrighty, let me show you what I was able to do. Sadly, not as much as I would have liked. <laughs> this is it. As great as it started with the foundations, that was when I was running out of materials already. But this is looking promising. We will have a roof over all of this, because this will be our safe spot. This will be, let's call it the bunker maybe. This will be where we are when it's thundering and raining and when we want to be safe. I think I will put a chair out here because it'll be really cool you know imagine you sit down here and look out just hoping for a ship or something that should be super cool a little natural balcony i really like how this all flows 
together. This here is not even an entrance, it's, it's not an arch or anything, it's just the perfect width to get through. So I will leave it like that and once we have a roof on top of it, or a floor better say, it should all work out. Alrighty, but I do need a break now. I've been working on this for over two hours and I am really exhausted. And I still want to try the fight with the giant eel, so give me a bit of a break to catch some breath. And then we will take on the giant eel for the first time properly. Oh goodness, no! <laughs> I guess it really is like this. These guys here produce floaty fruits now. Can I grab you? Ugh. I mean, it's not impossible to get them, but it's... it's... Okay, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I will never be able to get this guy. Oh boy, could have been the update too that kind of messed things up, but I have a feeling it's more because I planted them like right in there. Well, we can get two of the three of them at least. Yet another sunrise and what do we see there? Alrighty, I dragged the first guy in on the island that we raided completely. We have the giant eel in the game, but we do not have many things. I have a few of the fishing spears and a few crude spears, but that is pretty much it. We lost all our arrows last time when I did the silly mistake of reloading after we had a shark killed and all the arrows were in him and yeah, like that we lost the arrows and now I'm a bit torn between what to do. We could make arrows, which requires stone tools, or we could just make spears. I think I will go for a handful of arrows. So I will make, let's say, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make two and another more. Let's see how many that will be. Oh, I made one too many. Yeah, we have eight. Okay, okay, I can totally deal with eight. And what do we have here? Okay, we have, my goodness, two of these, eight arrows, three of these, I guess I will just make four more spears then. I think I will use these spears mostly for infighting. We have two refined axes with one being about half broken, I used the last piece of leather we had to make more axes. I also made us four bandages, which should be decent and sufficient. Bandages are super easy to make, you only need cloth and the leashing, and if you harvest your yucca on your island often enough, you are literally swimming in leashing. I will take four coconuts and I am pretty sure I am hungry. Actually, I am not. I will yet still have one, just because I think even if you aren't if it says you're full, you know you aren't 100% full, and if I'm only 90% full, I would rather go at 100. Inventory management at its finest here. I guess I could put stuff in the raft, but I, mm, I'm really scared that the eel will flip our raft and everything and we will lose everything. Let's save the game here. What are you? A hoe. No, I don't want to attack with the hoe. Alrighty. Let's see if we can take him on. And stop. Whew, I hope they haven't changed the, the fight. The last two fights I did against this thing were... Come on, come on. In the experimental branch. And we discovered that there is a safe spot where we can cheese him pretty easily. And I really hope that is still there. Let me check my inventory. Yep, I have everything. I need there, or do I? Yeah, 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 I wasn't sure if I had the bow. Let's see how this goes. Once again, the sea fort appears to be completely empty, sadly. I really think they should give you some items in here, but no, not a single thing. Then, let's save the game right here. And take on the great Abaya. Oh boy. Here we are, and down there he is. Time? 10 a.m. So a lot of time. Get bow and arrow out, get in the water, and appreciate 
the ginormousness of his shipwreck. And let's appreciate the great Baya himself. Dude, has he always been this fast? Dude, 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 dude. Let me get to my happy place. <laughs> oh, boy, give me a minute to rest here. Holy cow. Alrighty, now we can talk. Where are you? Hey, why? Ah, oh, I have the... I have the bow glitch again. It used to work underwater before, and then it doesn't, and then it does, and then it doesn't. Okay, I guess I'll have to cheese it out the hard way. Hey, buddy. And a hit. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm st stuck? Yeah, I know. I did not mean to climb there. Get in the water again. He's... If the controls would work for me, this would be a really easy fight. But yeah, can make it difficult if your controls bug out like that. Give me the first bandage already. This is not... I had anticipated this to go and I really can't use my bow. Oh, you're trying, huh? Come here. I'm not scared of you as long as I'm in my happy spot. Mm hmm. Oh, this is working decently. <laughs> he's not happy. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Evaded. This goes a lot better now that we can swim up and down with space and shift. This gives me a lot more options to maneuver myself around in the water. It's really good. Oh, he got me. Right when I was taking a breather. I the peaks in the bum for that. Oh, he's there again. Wow, he's so fast. Bleeding? Yep. All better. I wonder if I can grab the spear if he gets close enough. I'm gonna launch a few at him just because... Oh! <laughs> just because I'm not sure if he'll... Oh, wow, there really is. Really? Really is. Just this one safe spot. And if you are a few inches off, he can totally get you. So let's not be a few inches off. Can I get my spears back? Wow, this is so close. But we're doing great. We have him halfway down already. What? Hey, what happened there? That was stupid. Come on, that was bugged out. Oh, he... he oh, <laughs> I was so sure he would get me there. Oh, God. 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 Wowee. <laughs> Happy place, happy place, happy place, happy place. <laughs> I know I need air, but I have literally bigger problems at hand right now. Oh, this is bad, but maybe it's not so bad after all. Oh, don't get greedy now. Don't get greedy. Last bandage. Apply. I see his shadow. Yes. Come on. Oh, now he's fast. You'll be right behind me in a second, but I'm prepared. Mm hmm, I knew you'd be there. Oh! Come on, come on! Got him! Can I pick up my spears? Ah! And after the music blew our ears apart, we have accepted that we defeated the great Abaya. The easiest of the fights, in my opinion, just because you can cheese it out, as you saw me do there. Where is our island? I would assume it's that. Alrighty, this is awesome! Oh, home sweet home. Oof. I am a bit shaky, I will admit. I need some water. Did I even fill that guy before moving out there? <laughs> I did not. I'm such a professional. Has any of our plants grown? Oh. I will need the label maker and then I will be fine. Any floating plants that have grown? No. Maybe they will eventually one day be here. If we are lucky. We will find out. Label maker. And up to our safe spot we go. Our safe spot that is really taking shape. I need to show you in a second how it looks from down below because it's really starting to look like something. But let me stay in the shadow and see here. Crafting. Story mode? Yep, we have it. The gyrocopter frame. Should we put it down already? 
But then it... Oh, we can put it down up here. Oh, yeah, let's totally do that. Alrighty. Alrighty. It is floating. I mean, it is a gyrocopter after all. <laughs> but the other thing we can do now is trophies. Eel trophy. Where is it? Where? What? <laughs> it's a ginormous question mark. Can we... No, we can't put it on a wall, sadly. Ah, that would be perfect. Press E to pick up. Hmm. We will find a way to make it look good somehow. But this trophy has a nameplate on it, right? Mm hmm. So we can name it. And we will name it in honor. Oh, I can't do dots. In honor of Simon Hagen. <laughs> Not Simon, what's that? Simon Hagen. There you go. In honor of Simon Hagen. Simon, buddy, you wanted something named after you. And even though this is kind of gross, it's one of the coolest things you can get in the game. And Simon is one of the guys who has been with me for the longest, at least in the comments. Maybe some of you are lurking and have been around for even longer than him. But he's been there for way over a year. So I thought he should get something special. Alright, let's see... If we can see our gyrocopter up there, we sure can. I need to find a good place for the eel trophy somehow. It's a pity you can't literally put them on walls. I want this guy on. Can I not? I can. There you go. Hey, there you. There, there you. What? <laughs> it's turning in a different direction each time. Oh, now I'm up here. Um. Wait a second, qu qu I am tempted to do that. Okay, we will not put the guy down. Just yet. Because I do want to save the game. And see if we can put the seed on the wrong way. But we are running long on the episode. And I am super exhausted. I don't know why, but today drained me. Like cray sea. So if you're wondering why I don't sound as happy as I should, considering that we just defeated one of the three monsters... Yeah, look at that. This will look so cool. It's because I'm actually extremely tired right now. But I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I will see you in the next one. This was your personal virus. And I hope I got you infected. But check out the metallic paints on the dwarf. Dude, this looks so cool. It looks totally over the top and fake. But the next step that will also help us with the choppiness of the detail lines will get rid of that. Let me maybe try it from around here. Justice has come. I have one word for you. The StarCraft II Legacy of the Void Golden Armada version of the Protoss Mothership. It's one word if you don't put spaces in.